I think the role of a producer has changed quite a lot from when I started out and I don't think the likes of me could really um, m make a living out of it nowadays. Um, engineer, producer, I was trained as an engineer and then fell into producing more or less by accident and um, today I think a producer is very much more involved in the writing of the songs as well and um, that's I think the one thing you can't change is change and 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 habits and trends and whatever change uh, over the years and um, and thus the the um, role of the producer has changed but here at Gearbox we record records uh, uh, more or less in the sort of old-fashioned way and so it's perfect for from my point of view working on Gearbox stuff because it is just like going back 40 years to how we used to make records except we make them a lot quicker now <laughs> I have to say from a producer's point of view it's a lot nicer to work with with a bunch of guys or girls who who are getting on well together and for instance working with bands like Genesis it, they're all very polite and gentlemanly and stuff but um, I think it, you know it, it works either way it's just really how I think how the producer is important in 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 whatever atmosphere is is there getting the best out out of it whether it be um, frustration or or happiness I mean sometimes I think um, if if people are, are, are too happy is not the really the right word if if people are too content then perhaps you're not you're not searching for unknowns so much because the great thing with people working in the studio together is 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 the things that you you never know are going to happen happen if everything's all sort of written out if you're if you're recording a symphony or orchestra or something you know it's you're playing the dots but with with our kind of music and, and jazz there's hopefully much more room for improvisation and that sort of thing. I was very lucky to be sort of trained in my formative years at, at, at good studios in London and um, namely AdVision Studios and then Lansdowne Studios and then I was extremely lucky to get a job at uh, Virgin Records when they started the Townhouse Studios off in 1978 I think it was and it was a very, very good studio. And we also made this stone room, which is um, famous for the Phil Collins drum sound. And so, sadly, a, a lot of these studios that were around in the 70s and 80s have closed down. But thank goodness for, for especially us at Gearbox, the, the really good studios that both Daryl and I like uh, are still around and they include um, Rack Studios where we recorded the um, Graham Costello record. Uh, there's British Grove Studios which is like a museum to old equipment which um, we all love because everything's old school there. We recently recorded at Real World Studios, Binker and Moses, which is what I call a, not old-fashioned studio, but it was a studio built in the 80s and it's full of old gear. And so luckily there's still a, a reasonably good choice of studios that keep their analogue equipment in good condition as well. And so it makes um, our whole ethos at, at Gearbox um, much better so we can, you know, we pride ourselves in recording everything analogue as much as possible. So um, that's, that's how it is. Uh, but uh, sadly, a lot of the studios, including Virgin, 
studios, the townhouse, um, are no longer there. I think working in in our idiom now here at Gearbox, which is contemporary jazz, whatever you want to call it, is it, it's a different sort of production. And I think it's uh, first of all, you, you're you're largely not talking about vocals so much which could be very much the main thing of of pop records and i think it it it, it it's in a way it's more of an old fashioned way of when you say producing uh um records the way i do with with daryl it's more it's it's actually a bit more like conducting i think than than um than being a, a modern producer which is more allied to the writing we're conducting the the sessions in the studio we're 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 trying to make the musicians not y y we're trying to get them to play in a way that's not uh, um strangling them but we don't want them to you know we don't want to tell them too much because we want uh, improvisation very often and that sort of thing. So, I think summing it up, I think it's 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 almost more of a conduct conducting uh, situation nowadays in in the studio for 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 our, our sort of stuff at Gearbox. The fact is, I've always liked drums and I've always loved recording drums, and my whole career sort of came out of recording drums in a way. The um, famous gated reverb drum sound that we um, discovered um, by accident during the making of Peter Gabriel's third album with Phil Collins in the studio playing the drums and then he asked me to um, co-produce his first album which was one of my first sort of what I call proper co-productions um, that resulted in In the Air Tonight which was obviously a big drum thing uh, drumming is, if, if a band doesn't have a good drummer, it's like the the backbone of, of, of a human being. You have to have a very solid rhythm section to be able to, for everything else, to sort of hang together off it. And Daryl uh, um, from Gearbox is a drummer himself, so yes, there there is definitely a drumming theme um, going through here, as well as working recently with Graham Costello's Strata and then even more recently with Binker and Moses who are um, all amazing drummers and musicians so it's it's a perfect fit for me I have to say. Uh, that, I mean when I when I first got a job in a studio aged 18 my aspiration was to become the chief recording engineer at at a major London studio like Abbey Road or or something like that, and 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 I think I said before to to have sort of ended up having forty year career as a producer as well was like, wow, how did that happen? <laughs>